Oh, hello, uh, all you beautiful people. Uh, we're together again in our uh, community, as I just, uh, uh, the last video I sent off, which was this morning, uh, I realized that something's really powerful is happening, and um, I feel so very excited about it that um, we're gathering, uh, although this might be a very small group, it's a place of healing, lots of joy, and um, the, the, the message of uh, that we're beautiful and uh, that we have a special gift to give, and, and the more we are in, in connect, connected with this wonderful place in us, uh, the better our life will be. So um, I had this uh, song I want to share with you, and because um, I call us lovers of life, I think that's really a, a good thing, a good good name for us. And I'm going to sing this uh, little. I like to do these little uh, mad songs. I think this is a song you all know. And um, and this can be our song. <laughs> I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I love life, I love life, woo! <laughs> Wasn't it great? Anyway, um, today, um, when I get down to uh, onto Earth again, uh, as you can see, I'm sitting here with some wool, and today we're going to talk about wool. And, um, uh, you know, when you're in your ego, you say, oh, wool, you know, wool, that's just some dirty stuff, what, what? But actually, wool is uh, a very, very uh, powerful uh, phenomenon, really. And our ancestors have—I mean, that's why they survived. There was animal hair. There were there were um, the skins, the hides of the animals. And when man discovered wool from the sheep, which is especially from the sheep, um, well, they probably felt that they found anything better than gold, diamonds, uh, because it is uh, such fantastic stuff. So I'm, um, I'm going to, uh, yeah, do something about this, and, um, and you don't need to have a sheep to benefit from this video. It's for everyone, really. Uh, if you have a woolen rug like this, uh, this is wet and old, a woolen rug, you can, uh, you can maybe use this video. See, because, um, just, uh, I think about a week ago, I, uh, I felt sort of, I, I, I felt this uh, idea that I should have some more wool, uh, sh I should actually be lying on wool at night, and I went onto the internet and, uh, and read about it, and of course, I, I knew this, but I'd sort of forgotten, because I had some old, um, some, old uh, some old covers for our, our mattresses, and when our children were little, we would lie on them, and then after a while, I just thought, oh, I'll put the sheet on top. But really, um, one amazing, fantastic thing about wool uh, is that you hardly have to wash it. It's it's very, you can use it many, many, many times without having to wash it. And sheets are really hard to get clean, I think, if you're using natural detergent. So anyway, I started lying on the wool, and I can definitely feel that this is great. This is so good for me and I sleep better, I re I'm much more relaxed and um, I know from what I've read before, I just, as I said, I've just forgotten that uh, that wool is actually, it's many things, but one of the, the, the qualities of wool is that it protects against electromagnetic uh, radiation. So if you're lying on some sort of stressed area or I think even that the radiation coming from the air, the air from the but especially ones that are coming from underneath they can't go through wool <laughs> it's just it keeps it keeps them out so energy wise you can feel it when you lie on the wool there's something really amazing very very healthy for us um, now the special thing about sheep's wool is that um, that it has lanolin in it, and lanolin is the fat of the wool that it comes from sheep. You don't have it, I don't think, in any other animals. You know, if you've tried, this is a, this is a fleece from from one of our sheep. It's very greasy, 
uh, when you touch it, apart from being very dirty, but and it it smells strong of lanolin. So I'm going to tell you today how you can, with an old rug like this, um, how you can make yourself a beautiful uh, blanket to lie on at night instead of your sheet. Um, and we're going to put some lanolin into the wool. So I'll just show you my beautiful bathroom. <laughs> so here we go. This is my beautiful bathroom. Oh my. Yeah, I, I think it's a really, really friendly place to be. I have my shower here every morning. And uh, the the um, the bricks on the or the the floor the tiling is old bricks we found at a beach many many years ago, and uh, just put into cement. Very simple, uh, but uh, and was very cheap of course, and it works fine. So um, and over here we have the um, we have the compost to the toilet uh, door. I'll just show you my toilet, and here we have. Um, the sauna door and so I'll just go and open up and you can just see what it looks like just for fun turn the lights on so here is our toilet there's our toilet here and it's actually uh, I can I can go like this maybe it's smarter I don't know uh, it is actually a, a water closet toilet but um, it goes out as I said to you on the compost video it goes out into a compost uh, contain a big um, tank, so it's uh, more hygienic and and it's it's actually nicer than having the actual compost in the in the house. Here's our sauna. Might be a bit too dark for you, but it's just a little um, it's a little wood stove, little combustion stove, and here we can light the fire and um, and have a sauna. I'm going to get this rug down that I bought many years ago, which I use. Now we're going to go back to the wool. Um, so here we are. I think I can do a lot of this uh, down here on the floor. Uh, this was the rug that we bought many years ago uh, for all our, I think we bought four and you can buy them on the internet. There's uh, some really beautiful ones. There's even organic, organic wool from New Zealand. They're expensive, of course, but you they, and they so they make all the bed the bed clothing. So you have the the mattress protector. They just call it a mattress, and you have the duna, the the, the duvet, or what you call it in, in English, and you have a pillow. And it's all in wool. And I talked to a lady who has a business here in Denmark. And I asked her, how often do you wash it? And she says, I, I, I never wash it. I just hang it out in the winter time, in the frost, in the snow, or just shake it, hang it in the sun. Um, you don't need to wash it. But if you like, usually the pillow ca can get a little bit, it, it gets dirtier quicker. So she washes that once in a while. But you have to wash it in very, uh, very mild soap because, and, and, and no more than 40 degrees Celsius, because then you, you're taking away the lanolin. But the lanolin will la wear off after a while, so that's why I'm going to show you how you can you can uh, you can put new lanolin into into your stuff, and it has to be 100% wool. What you're what you're using it mustn't be with any any uh, uh, what do you call nylon acrylics. It has to be 100% wool. You can I got this in a secondhand shop. Um, so and I want to show you this is this is my my book I wrote many years ago. And uh, it's gone, gone out of sale now because it's uh, that's our family, my husband when he, when we were young and and beautiful, and our, one, two of our kids. And uh, in this book, I write about something I think that is so fascinating, uh, and that is woolen panties for children for babies. Aren't they cute? <laughs> This is, I think, some I got from a second-hand shop that have been never used, ob obviously. This is lanolin wool. Um, I think maybe this is made by this is made by a machine. I don't know, 
But, but these are hand, I'll show you how, later on, show you how to spin wool. It's, it's really not difficult and it's really fun. So uh, this is wool. I think I made these two and it's wool from our sheep and uh, it's and it's wool it has been very lightly washed and see the magic about this is that lanolin the, well the wool can contain large amounts of water or urine or, or sweat and the mix the, the fact that there's lanolin in there has a, a really magical effect on uh, your clo on the clothes so what happens here? You put the, the 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 cotton nappy onto the baby, and you put these. You maybe put some uh, put some little um, just cotton panty pants, just just little ones, uh, uh, not thick ones. And then you put these on top, and you have to give them a body stocking. Or I didn't have that then because it's so many years ago. I just. Uh, uh, I think they, I, they had some trousers on with some, some um, uh, that sort of held up the trousers because when they crawl around, they often they would sort of slide off. So that's a bit of a uh, thing. But what happens is when the baby wees, um, the wee will go into contact with the lanolin and what happens chemically is soap is produced. So uh, when the baby's, when it's all wet with, with, with the wee, it it smells beautiful. It doesn't smell bad at all because it's it's actually creating some something very clean as soap, the chemical uh, constitution of soap. The other thing is that wool, um, oh uh, yeah, that, that it wool stays warm, uh, although it's wet. It can contain forty percent water because it sucks the water into its fibres, but it sends out heat. So the baby's never cold, and often they never get red red bottoms because because it breathes, wool breathes completely. And the fact I have to remember to say that the urine mixed with the lanolin produces soap, and uh, the same is with sweat. So when I sweat at night on this, this has had this has got the lanolin. I did that yesterday. When I sweat on this at night, it won't get so sweaty. Well, first of all, I won't feel wet because it will just go into here. But the lanolin will be mixed with my sweat and produce soap. So I probably don't have to wash this uh, ever, ever more. I don't think. <laughs> I don't think so. But when you have a baby and uh, um, you use these, the lanolin does wear off, and uh, you need. And also when they poo, actually the mixture of poo and and lanolin also turns into soap. I think. But of course it just does get stained. So what you do is you just Put it under a lukewarm under a lukewarm tap, and just rub it off as good as you can, and they will get more and more stains. So once in a while, you have to you have to wash them, and you wash them in soap suds or shampoo, very mild water, and you just more or less just press it in, and you rinse them in lukewarm water one or two times, and then you do the lanolin bath, which I'm going to show you. Um, now this is. I'll just go back to our wool here. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. It's of course it's very dirty, but it is amazing that this has been growing on an animal. And the fantastic thing is, you're not killing the animal to get all this gorgeous stuff. It's uh, it's lives on. So this is one of the sheep down there, one of the white ones. It's her what you call virgin wool. It's her first wool, and it's. I thought I was going to make myself a jumper. Uh, <laughs> that's two years ago. I'm healing, so I'm busy healing. But one day I might sit down and uh, make myself a jumper because uh, it's going to be so soft. So, and I just took a, a bit of this this morning and washed it, and you see the difference. And this has, still has the lanolin because it's washed with uh, with just mildly. And if you brush it, just take my brush if I can, brush it, it goes really fluffy, beautiful stuff. And you can make, I've done that before, you can make felt boots with it. It's just, I mean you could, you could wear wool everywhere. See, look at this gorgeous stuff. 
and and when man, I mean, this is what human beings have been doing for thousands and thousands of years. They've been working with this with their hands, and when man works with something with their hands, it's gentle. It's not this huge machine, bang, 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 bang. Uh, it's gentle, and you get the best quality stuff. So uh, um, here we go. I can just show you about wearing wool. Uh, I wear wool, always wear woolen socks. But you see, most of us, we have wool on somewhere. And before nylon came out, everybody was wearing wool somewhere. Um, these are woolen socks. I think there's a little bit of acrylic in that. I bought them in a second-hand shop. And this is a skirt I've had for, since I was 15, so I've had it for, um, so I've had it for 35, 36 years. And it's got holes in it. My mother made it. You can just go a bit closer. She made it when I was 15. And, uh, it's, uh, just fantastic. She's a very good knitter. See, it's all. I, I don't wash these. Just you can just wear them for years. You don't need to wash them. And it's. You know, I always feel so nice and warm. So what we're going to do now? I'm going to uh, melt some lanolin. And that might be a bit tricky. I'll just get a pot. I haven't learned how to do these videos, uh, to, to, to put videos together, <laughs> I haven't learned that yet. So I'm going to make this for this rug, and I, I'll say this is about three tablespoons of lemon. And I've got a, a hot pot here, so I hope it will just melt in there. And here we have the pot. I'll see if I can make it melt. If you can see, you can just doesn't need that much heat to melt lanolin. Oh, I'll, I'll just stick it on the on the stove for a second. And while the lanolin is melting. We're going to make some hot, soapy water. It doesn't really need to be that hot, actually. And I've just taken this uh, mild shampoo. It's got no chemicals in it. And I'm going to, for one tablespoon of lanolin, you use one teaspoon of soap. So just mild shampoo. And it's just approximately, it's no, no big deal if it's you just don't need heaps of soap. So that was the shampoo. Here was the lemon. Now we're going to get some hot water in here. Nice and hot. Now, we have the hot water. Here we have the, the uh, I have to remember to say, see this, all this is full of lanolin and when they produce, when they produce the lanolin, all this wool here, um, uh, they wash the lanolin out and, and you can buy lanolin from on, online, probably lots of places. Make sure it's, uh, it's chemical free because unfortunately uh, the wool industry is like everything else they use chemicals on the sheep they spray it I've been on a farm in Australia they spray it right down their back and they found out that people using lanolin or in creams and so on they actually get putting chemicals on them so this is pesticide free or chemical free lanolin that I'm using and you probably can't get it completely free, but it must be from maybe they've cleaned it out, or as I said before, they have actually have organic sheep in New Zealand, so they're making organic wool, which was is just absolutely 
wonderful. And this I'm going to fill this with water for my for my blanket, and it needs to be not too hot. We've got, see it's nearly melted now, the lanolin. It's just, see there's a little bit left. It's coming beautifully. I just love how Mother Nature provides with everything everything we need and they try to make all these I think nylon is fantastic for, for lots of things but man cannot create these things that nature creates it's just so fantastic so here we have our lanolin and now we have and uh, here we have our soap water and what you do is I'll see if I can show it on the camera while I do it, so you can see it, what we're doing is we're going to mix this. We're going to mix this soapy water into this, and while we do it, we just stir. See? See how it goes all white? There we go. Bit more. Stir it in, and see. See, now we're, we're making an, an emulsion of lanolin and soapy water. And it doesn't matter that this soap is going to, this bit of shampoo is going to go into our wool in a little while. It does not matter. Uh, so here we have our lanolin mixture. Here in the bathtub we have our water. Throw it in. Take the rest, get it all in there. There we go. And now, all we do is take our washed rug and just put it in. Just put it in here. I'll put this back so you can see me in a second. And that's fine. Putting it in here, there's not quite enough water. I'm going to fill a bit more water in here. But it has to be covered. So here we have we have our mixture and once in a while just go and push push it down with your hands and leave it for the night leave it you leave it all night and uh, so this is what I've done with this it's been in the lanolin mixture all night and uh, a bit of yesterday too so when I went past it I just pushed it down so because these wool fibers are completely like straws they're sucking up the hours that are going by they're sucking up these three tablespoons of, of lanolin into every little fi every fiber they're sucking it in and um, tomorrow morning take it out of the the, the tub and into the washing machine and you don't want to to wring it really 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 hard uh, just um, well actually when when you wash it before you give it the lanolin you wring it out you, you um, put it in the spinner and you spin as much water as you can out of it but just don't be too rough with with it 
I think I, because this is so old, I just gave it the, the highest speed. Because the more water I push out, uh, the more a lanolin can come in, the more it can suck up the lanolin. So when you put it into there, it is it is wet from the washing. It's, um, but of course, you could also, if it's a sunny day, uh, just just take it up of the out of the lanolin bath and just hang it up and, and dry it like that. So it will dry. It will take me take days for it to dry. Um, but that way, the water is going to evaporate. But all the beautiful lanolin that was sort of sitting on the very wet rug is going to suck in and stay in the wool. So that's the best way to do it, to just press the water a little bit out and just hang them up, hang it up and let it dry naturally. So, but it's winter here and it's going to take me a while to, to dry these things in that I'm going to take them into the lounge. Uh, so so I'll, I'm going to wring them out. But... Um, yeah, so this was uh, this was a story about wool and wool's ability to keep us warm, but also to give us uh, a good sleep and make us feel really good. <laughs> um, so, and I'll make I'll tell you more about wool when we uh, some other day about how to spin and how to knit wool. Um, so. Uh, thank you for today and uh, I still love you and I can't wait to make the next video <laughs> I'm so hooked on this it feels so good and um, like I've said before I really believe that we're all meant to, to do something in life and I think I've found one of the, the most uh, one of the biggest things I'm going to do while I'm here on earth and that's do these videos <laughs> Because I just love it so much, and I think when you get to that, find that in life that just makes you so happy, uh, you're where God wants you to be. You're doing what God wishes for you. So I wish that for you, uh, that every day you're getting, you more and more feel, this is right for me. This is what really is my duty here on earth, or and the duty is just fun. So God bless you. And see you soon.